Are you an employee thinking of a business on the side or already have one? Hello, this is Gerard with another lesson on taxation. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about mixed income earners and how they are taxed. So mixed income earner is an individual who earns compensation income from employment and income from business or practice or profession and or other sources aside from employment. Now the next question is what particular tax rates are applicable for a mixed income earner? To answer this, we need to segregate the income from compensation and business income or practice or profession. Now the compensation income shall be subject to the prescribed rates of section 24A of the tax code as amended or the updated income tax table. For the income from business or practice or profession, the taxpayer has the following options provided the business income is subject to Section 116, otherwise known as the percentage tax. First is the business income should be subject to the graduated tax rates of Section 24 similar to his compensation income. Second is 8% income tax rate based on gross sales or gross receipts and other income in lieu of graduated tax rates and percentage tax under Section 116. Now, if the taxpayer's gross sales or gross receipts exceeds 3 million or the VAT threshold, the taxpayer no longer has a choice but to use the graduated tax rates. Now, one very important thing to take note here is that the 8% in excess of 250,000 is only applicable for pure business income earners. You will notice in our computation, in our elucidative problems, that the 8% is multiplied directly to gross sales or gross receipts. The reason for this is that the 250,000 is already incorporated in the graduated tax rates when computing the tax due for the compensation income. So to compute total tax due, it shall be the sum of the compensation income subject to graduated income tax rates and business income or practice of profession subject to 8% income tax rate based on gross sales or gross receipts and other non-operating income. For mixed income earners who opted to use graduated income tax rates, they shall combine their compensation income and business income or practice of profession. So to illustrate this, let's go to our sample problems. For our first case, we will begin with the computation of tax due for the compensation income. From the total annual compensation income of 1.5 billion, which is already net of the mandatory deductions, we will need to deduct 90,000, which is the 13 month pay and other benefits limit. The taxable compensation is 1,410,000, wherein this will be run through the graduated income tax rates. For the business income, the option of 8% tax rate is only applicable to taxpayers' income from business, wherein this is in lieu of graduated income tax rates and 3% percentage tax. Did you notice that there was no deduction of 250 in comparison with computing income tax due of a pure business income earner? As mentioned earlier, the 250 is already incorporated in the graduated income tax rates when computing tax due for compensation income. Hence, no need to deduct it for a mixed income earner. In our second case, let's say the taxpayer did not opt for the 8% income tax rate. The taxable income from both compensation and business income shall be combined just like what I did in the computation right here. The income tax due shall be subject to graduated income tax rates. In addition, the taxpayer shall also be liable to pay percentage tax of 72,000, which is 3% of 2,400,000. In our second illustration, notice that the gross sales exceed the VAT threshold of 3 million. Therefore, the taxpayer no longer has the option of 8% income tax rate. As you can see, the computation of the income tax due shall be done by again combining both compensation and business income, then using the graduated income tax rates. Total income tax due is 845,200. However, the assumption here is that because of the nature of the business, which is farm operation, it shall be VAT exempt. So I strongly suggest that you watch my video on pure compensation income earner 
and pure business income earner so that you can see the different tax treatments for other individual income tax payers. As always, I will link it in the description below. And that's it. So if you found this video very helpful, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated with new tax videos. So this is Gerard. I'll talk to you in the next one.